When I left my friend Tom's place in North Georgia, I rode due north into the mountains toward the infamous Tale of the Dragon. So this is Helen, Georgia, a kind of a German town in the North Georgia mountains. Very touristy, about five or ten dollars to uh, to park a motorcycle from what I've seen. Uh, old boy told me he paid like 25, 30 bucks for a ribeye steak from the grocery store. So I got no business here, but uh, it is kind of interesting. Little remote German town in the middle of the mountains. As is sometimes the case, the journey to the ride was just about as interesting as the ride itself, but with a lot less traffic. This is Robbinsville, uh, North Carolina. I guess it's kind of the last real uh, bit of civilization you get into uh, before you get to the Dragon, I guess, other than Deals Gap. We're uh, a few miles away from the start, so let's go check it out. So before we get to the Dragon, first a little background. Perhaps more than any other ride in the United States, the stretch of Highway 129 running through Deals Gap, colloquially known as the Tale of the Dragon, inspires awe and terror into the hearts of motorcyclists around the world. Featuring a whopping 318 curves and 11 miles, it's become a kind of proving ground for motorcyclists willing to test their skills. You want to not end up on.
already ridden this road twice previously. Once was under perfect weather conditions when amazingly I had the whole place all to myself. After that day, I swore it was the best road in the USA. The next time I wasn't so fortunate. It was pouring down rain and the visibility was nil. With my boots filling up with water, I couldn't wait to get off of this road. It had been four years since the last time I was out here and I was anxious to give it another go. The trouble with this road is its unparalleled popularity. Because of this, you never know who's coming around the corner and where they'll be in relation to you. I've often seen cars, trucks, and motorcycles completely over the yellow lines and had to swerve in the middle of a tight corner to avoid them at the last second. It's for this reason, rather than utilizing the entire lane to cut my lines like they teach you in the books, I generally limit myself to the right half of my lane in order to avoid some potential dumbass around the corner. Of course, on a road like this, there's going to be dumbasses no matter what you do. Take a moment to try to analyze what might have happened in this crash. Watch carefully and let me know in the comments below what you think happened and how it could have been avoided. rotisserie chicken time constitutes most of my diet when i'm in the united states i just keep looking for different types of hot sauce to put on it i got this uh, uh tunisian bakludi harissa i know i'm not saying that right from the uh, tomato market around jerry's house who you met in the last video and uh, this has got a bit of a kick to it man so i keep playing this game of finding new and exotic hot sauces to put on that chicken and um you know really it's not too bad. This is Lake Fontana. The movie The Fugitive was shot around here. Back there, uh, obviously, is the dragon. Uh, as you saw, uh, somebody crashed and uh, there was coolant spilled all over the road. That's one reason why I really don't like riding this road. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite roads. Uh, it's just too popular. There's too many people that come out here. My advice is if you're gonna ride this road, and I think you should, don't try to ride beyond your ability. Just take the corners uh, as fast as you feel comfortable. Don't push it too hard. If you get lost from your buddies, so what? You'll catch up with them later. Because not only are you taking your own safety into your own hands, but you're also taking my safety into your own hands and everybody else's safety.
New York. New York. He's from here. Here. And I'm from Massachusetts. He's from Massachusetts. And then Dan is from Michigan, and uh, Richard's from Tennessee. Thank so we kind of usually once a year we all meet down here. And, you know, okay. We come down to Jerry's place. He hooks us up with a place to stay and all that, and we come out and ride around. And it's it's cool. How do you guys know each other? So I work with him. Yeah. I used to work with him. He moved back to Michigan. And then Richard and Dan worked together in Michigan. And Richard used to be your son-in-law, right? <laughs> so yeah. it's like a whole, like, yeah. you know, kind of a whole chain that okay. brings okay. us all we together. We gave the daughter away and kept him. Georgia 60. Georgia 60, 60 okay. yeah. And then the Koi River is what? That's 411, right? Uh, it's, no, it's 64, 74. 6474, which okay. runs right along the river, and then you can see you where they do there on a weekend. They'll be sure. be careful because yeah, it's busy I'm on the weekend. Do there one time and it's cast. Right. Uh, thing on top of his car, pushed right off in front of me. Oh, oh yeah, I hit the brakes and nothing good thing was coming. Yeah, I made it around him. But I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah it, that gets real because they got that white water rafting yeah. right there. There's a big spot yeah. where they did the Olympics and everything. Oh, so okay. that's kind of yeah. cool. They got yeah. all the flags up and everything. They got a Pipe, big pipe coming down. Yeah, off the mountain, the lake up there. And then during the week, they take, they flush it, bring it all down there. From there, there's a flute goes all the way down to the whitewater rafting place. And they just, they just switch it over. Hmm. So I say they can turn that so much off, turn it on if they want. Yeah, I tell Damn. people that, and they look at me like, yeah, what have you been smoking? <laughs> no, but it is. You ride by there; it's all rocks. Like, like right now, it's just nothing but rocks. But then you, we went on the weekend the last yeah. time, yeah. and yeah, it was it's you know, crazy. It's all it, kinds right? of people around, we're rafting and everything. But you can yeah. stop, make a little video of that. It's one of those things to stop and see. You know, nice. the riding nice. itself is not crazy, but it's actually real scenic. It's real nice. Yeah. You ride right along the river. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Cool. So just met these gentlemen uh, out here in front of the tail of the dragon sign, and this guy's got Sutton Motorsports Garage. Give him a follow. Thank you. Okay, so is the Dragon all it's cracked up to be? The answer to that question really depends on what's happening with the weather and the traffic. While it's certainly a cool road, there are definitely a lot of other really cool rides out here. One just such of these roads is undoubtedly the Cherahala Skyway, which I'll cover in the next video. As far as camping, there really aren't a lot of good spots out here aside from some really posh motorcycle oriented campgrounds. They charge big money, but are worth checking out at least once for the camaraderie and atmosphere. As for me, I chose to seek out my accommodations in the woods. This looks good. Looks beautiful. This uh, Forest Service Road is off of uh, the Cherahala Skyway, just the beginning. Been a good day of riding. Tail of the Dragon, which is always good, except for the fact that there's a lot of dumbasses out there. But uh, this is pretty remote, kind of a breath of fresh air after being in a sea of motorcycles all day. Just uh, looking for a good tree to store this other half of a rotisserie chicken. I'm trying this out as a deterrent to uh, bears and other critters. You uh, depress that button on top and it's loud as all get out. Probably recommended to use earplugs if you can. But I got that, and if that fails, I got uh, Old Faithful here.
Hey, what's up? This is Joe. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video of the tail of the dragon. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, as usual, I've included an optional donate link in the drop box for anybody that might like to contribute to this project. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road.